Ice Ice Baby That's the theme of today's video. But as much as they are about ice itself, the real focus is on what's been found frozen in it. And it's way more than you would expect. With the mammoth on the slab under hot lights, the team has to work quickly. Besides the science behind the process of ice formation, the relationship frozen water has with the rest of the world is perfectly exhibited in these clips. From in-depth looks at our history on this planet to the neat ways living things handle ice at its most extreme, this is as cool as it gets. 15 Most Incredible Things Found Frozen in Ice Yucca the Mammoth This is a young woolly mammoth that lived 39,000 years ago. Its eyes, foot pads, and even internal organs are all intact. Its perfectly preserved body was discovered in the frozen ground of Siberia by hunters who handed it over to scientists. They named the young mammoth Yucca. Can you believe that the shaggy ginger coat is just as bright as it was when the animal wandered over the ice-covered terrain? While many bones have been found before, this is unique in being an almost complete frozen carcass. An analysis of the teeth and tusks determined Yucca to be approximately six to eight years old when it died. Although it's presumed that the mammoth had most likely been attacked by lions or other predators, evidence that the predators had killed the mammoth was not found. Most remarkable is the fact that it had two clean cuts on its back and several bones had been removed, including its spine, skull, ribs, and pelvis. This skillful butchery could not have been the work of a predator and was probably the work of early humans. Although mammoths are featured in cave paintings from the time, this is the first evidence that humans preyed on them in the days when ice sheets covered 40% of the northern hemisphere. What they discovered frozen in ice surprised the whole world. How could it not? It looks to be some sort of ice dragon. An ice dragon is a legendary creature, somewhat resembling a dragon, but made of ice and breathing cold instead of fire. Like in the Game of Thrones TV series, in Season 7, the dragon Viserion is killed and then raised back to life by the Night King. This led to considerable debate among fans about what exactly the undead Viserion dragon is. Simply a white dragon like the undead white horses, or perhaps somehow turned into a dragon version of a white walker, much as how the Night King turns humans into white walkers. But at the end of the day, the TV series based on popular books are simply fiction. If this dragon-like creature with blood in its mouth actually exists, what does that even mean? Are the legends of mythical creatures to be believed? And how did the people who found this beast even deal? The last thing you would expect to find frozen in ice is a mythical beast, right? Comment below with the hashtag open discussion. Fish found frozen in ice. Two brothers ice fishing on a lake in northern Indiana discovered a rare and grisly scene. One fish eating another, frozen in ice. The brothers cut the block of ice and slid it out of the water, revealing a pike eating a bass. They think the pike may have died while trying to swallow the bass and they both floated to the top and froze. But this is nothing. People find fish frozen in ice all the time. When thick ice forms on a lake surface, it blocks out the sun and the algae and plants don't photosynthesize and produce oxygen, thus depleting oxygen levels. If the aquatic plants and algae subsequently die and decompose, this also uses oxygen, further depleting levels so the fish essentially suffocate from lack of oxygen. The dead fish then float to the surface. The crazy thing about some of these frozen fish is that some of them even survive being frozen. Yep, it's true. Sometimes, some fish frozen solid comes back to life in minutes after being placed in a pot of warm water. Certain species are able to shut down basic bodily functions, slow their metabolism, and enter a dormant state. Cold water fish that live in freezing areas are able to produce antifreeze agents in their blood to help them withstand freezing temperatures. Skis found in ice. Did you know that the use of skis for wintertime transport and hunting goes back into the mists of prehistory? A team of archaeologists found a 1,300-year-old ski encased in ice on top of a mountain in Norway recently, completing a set that experts described as the best preserved prehistoric pair of skis on record. Another team has found the first ski on the mountain only a few feet away from the second. The new team waited seven years for ice to melt then discovered the second ski partially exposed inside thawing ice. 
Together, they're among the best preserved ancient skis ever found. There's a great public interest in the history of skiing, not least in Scandinavia, where skiing is an important part of national history. However, unless new sources appeared, it seemed that the early history of skiing had reached a dead end. The source situation has now changed dramatically. Important early ski historical material has come to light. Not only are the preserved skis new to ski history, but they're also coming from a new context. Not bogs in the lowlands as before, but glaciers and ice patches in extreme and barren landscapes in the high mountains of Norway. Ice covers the car. If you live anywhere where snow and ice are a reality, especially near large bodies of water with higher moisture levels in the air, this could very much be a reality for you. Whether you live in the seaside Romanian city of Lake Geneva or on the shores of North America's Great Lakes, winter can be hard on your vehicle, and not just because of sub-zero temperatures. Even if you routinely park in a covered area, snow and worse, ice accumulations on your car can make your morning commute time-consuming and treacherous. On those really cold mornings, it can be tempting to step outside, start your vehicle, let it idle for a bit, and then hit the road only once the engine and the interior are fully warmed up. Cold is one thing, but what about those mornings when you walk outside to piles of snow and ice coating your vehicle from headlights to taillights? What's the safest way to defrost your car and unstick frozen doors, windows, and locking mechanisms? Commercial de-icing products. Also, scrapers come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and materials. Water and alcohol mixtures. Alcohol freezes at a much lower temperature than water. As the alcohol evaporates, it releases energy, melting the ice. The addition of minute quantities of dishwashing liquid can further boost the effectiveness as well. Frozen Fox An exceptionally frigid winter has taken hold in the northern hemisphere, and it's not just humans who are feeling the effects. Look no further than this foxicle, recently extracted from Germany's Danube River. The poor fox is one of the victims of extreme weather conditions that are gripping vast parts of Europe. The unfortunate candid made its end after falling into the river and drowning. As the water continued to freeze, its body became encased in ice over time. According to the local press, a hunter extracted the animal from the ice and placed it on display in front of his family's hotel. That's certainly one way to alert people to the dangers of icy water. You'd think something like this would be a lone anomaly, but it's actually not entirely uncommon. The same hunter said he's seen a frozen deer and wild boar before. Not only that, at least one glacier fox has turned up in Scandinavia each winter for the past five years running. A pair of jousting moose, meanwhile, met with a similar fate when they tumbled into a river in Alaska recently. So certainly throughout time, many humans have fallen victim to falling through thin ice and ended up preserved inside the ice. Let this frozen fox be a lesson. Blood Falls Exploring the frozen beauty of Antarctica aka the White Continent. Researchers see a lot of, well, white. But at Taylor Glacier, or Blood Falls, you'll find startling sights of red, a blood-like deposit of iron-rich, salty water flowing into the West Lake Boney. When a geologist first discovered the frozen falls in the early 1900s, he thought algae was to blame for the red color, proof perhaps that life really can't exist anywhere. But in 2003, researchers determined that the red hue actually came from iron and water pulling from a 5 million year old lake. The flow would turn red when the iron came into contact with the air. Now, a new study adds the final piece to the century-old puzzle. Using radio echo sounding, researchers were able to track exactly where the water was flowing from. Turns out Taylor Glacier doesn't just have a lake under it. It also is just its own unique briny water system that has likely been in action for a million years. The research smashes the idea that flowing water can't exist in a freezing cold glacier at the end of the world. The saltiness of the water means it has a lower freezing temperature, making that continuous flow possible. Taylor Glacier is now the coldest known glacier to have persistently flowing water. Frozen Woolly Rhino after tens of thousands of years, a uniquely preserved woolly rhino, with even its brain intact, was found in Siberia. The extinct rhino, with a full coat of thick hazel-colored hair, a horn, and a complete set of teeth, 
was discovered by a group of mammoth tusk hunters in permafrost deposits beside a river. Some 30,000 years ago, the hulking woolly rhinoceros and its curved three-foot-long horn inspired ancient humans to streak the limestone in ancient caves with vivid charcoal portraits of the Ice Age beast. But were humans' artistic renderings of the woolly rhino accompanied by hunting that drove the creatures extinct roughly 14,000 years ago? Possibly. Many researchers have proposed that the mammals were hunted into extinction by humans in what's been termed the overkill hypothesis. This rhino, who must have been between three and five years old when it died, was extremely well fed with even a hump of fat, the scientists said. The rhino's hair was very well preserved too, with layers of thick hair on its belly and long guard hair all over its body, even on the ear, making it fully equipped for wintertime. It could have been hunted by predators into the water where it drowned at least 20,000 years ago. Nuclear Submarine Navigating ice in any sort of water vessel is a problem. The Arctic environment is very unique and presents numerous challenges. But not all seafaring vessels consider ice a problem. Like some boats, even submarines are built to bust through frozen surfaces. A submarine bursting through the Arctic ice is a powerful image, but it's not an easy one to pull off. The Arctic is a convenient hiding spot since sea ice provides submarines with a cover, making them almost impossible to detect from the air. That same sea ice makes communicating or launching missiles impossible, which means sometimes subs must crack through the ice with several thousand tons of steel. A simple fracture means any type of crack found in the ice, a lead is one big enough to accommodate a submarine. There's also open water that's surrounded by ice but doesn't freeze over. Any of these can provide favorable conditions for any surfacing sub. Typical submarines can break through about three feet of ice. Vessels that have been specifically strengthened can go through about nine feet. Even so, one careless move could damage a billion dollar sub and put the lives of crew members at risk. Boiling Water In recent years, this has become all the rage to videotape, particularly in regions that aren't used to such extreme temperatures. It's freezing cold outside and you can decide to take boiling water and throw it in the air. Instead of falling to the ground and searing a hole in the already fallen snow, it magically turns into snow. These videos go viral every winter, but there are certain conditions that need to be fulfilled in order to create snow from boiling water. Two conditions to be precise, and if they're both present, then you should be able to create snow from boiling water. Firstly, water should be boiled at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, the outside temperature should be very cold, below zero degrees Fahrenheit. When boiled water is thrown into the air at such a cold temperature, it instantly turns into snow and simply drifts away. But some experts are warning people of the boiling water challenge. The challenge is sending some to hospitals with severe burns. While it seems straightforward or safe to do this thing, some are getting splashed back with hot, boiling water, and while many people cover up with jackets or winter accessories, this doesn't mean you'll be safe from potential burns. If the hot water gets through your clothes, you could be severely injured. Frozen Alligator We think about alligators living in warm, swampy waters, not in ice-covered ponds, but weather can be unpredictable, even in the warmest climates. And after a bomb cyclone hit the east coast of the United States recently, the water at many alligator habitats froze over. Have you ever wondered how alligators survive in the winter cold? They have an unusual technique for staying alive. The animals can be seen with just their noses protruding from the ice. They appear completely static, literally frozen in place. Vicious and cold-blooded, these alligators cannot generate their own body heat. So in response to the cold, they use this survival technique called brumation. They essentially conserve their energy, but allow themselves to breathe, positioning their bodies like snorkels. By slowing down their metabolism and becoming lethargic, an ancient survival mechanism kicks in. This allows them to regulate their body temperature and survive all kinds of weather. Their scaly snorkels become their only conduit for oxygen. Ordinarily, these alligators would be spending their time sunbathing. And now we can see the animals adopting a very different way of dealing with the pursuing cold spell. Once the ice melts, they go back to normal. Frozen Ice Circles Is it an alien spacecraft? Is it the moon? No, it's a huge spinning ice disk on a frozen river. Now, although they look a little unnatural due to their circular precision, these ice circles are a very natural and rare phenomenon. And they can happen anywhere there's snow and running water. For example, in the city of Westbrook, Maine, 
a near perfect disk of ice formed in the presumed Scott River. According to city officials, the disk was about 300 feet wide, about the size of a football field. This was the perfect storm of conditions to these disks of spinning ice. We'll explain. Essentially, there are surface slabs of ice that form in the center of a lake or creek, and it eddies of slow-moving rivers. A rotational shear breaks off a chunk of ice and twists it around. The disk forms because of the varying currents of the river. While part of the river flows quickly in a straight line, currents near the other bank flow in a lazy semicircle. The slower currents cause a portion of the river to freeze over, and a clockwise motion caused ice to form in a disk shape. As the disk rotates, it grinds against surrounding ice, smoothing into a perfect circle. The river has to be moving at a very specific rate. Not too fast, not too slow. Frozen Turtle Turtles are very hardy and adaptable animals, but what's their limit? Can they freeze and stay alive? Under normal circumstances, turtles cannot stay frozen for long periods and stay alive. If a turtle freezes completely, ice crystals will form in its internal organs, which will damage them. So, turtles can't really freeze and stay alive, but there is an exception to this. Now you might be wondering, what do turtles do in the winter? Don't they hibernate underwater? Unlike most animals that hibernate, turtles are reptiles, and this means they're cold-blooded. Cold-blooded animals are not able to generate body heat, and they rely on the surrounding temperature to heat their body. So, turtles will observe very easily subtle changes in the temperature. When the weather starts to get cold, the metabolism of a turtle will automatically start to slow down. As a result, their hearts will start to slow down, along with all their processes that happen in their body. As a result of this slowdown, they'll need considerably less oxygen. Sometimes due to unfortunate situations, turtles don't have access to oxygen at all. But because they're hibernating, they're able to live without oxygen for up to five months. Frozen Cave Lion Cub The cave lion is an extinct species that resembled but was distinct from the modern lion. Cave drawings of the lion give some idea of what they may have looked like. For example, cave drawings that date back over 1500 years suggest that cave lions did not have a significant mane and they may not have had one at all. This cub, named Sparta, is a specimen like no other. It's one of the most beautifully preserved Ice Age animals ever found. This 28,000-year-old cave lion cub was curled up under the permafrost with its teeth, skin, claws, and even whiskers still intact. Cave lions like this have been extinct for around 1,400 years. The cub was found just 60 feet away from another cave lion cub, Boris, that locals had discovered the previous year. The pair was first thought to be siblings, but a study on the pair concluded they lived more than 15,000 years apart. Tess also determined the younger of the two was female, hence her name, Sparta. During the last ice age, Siberia wasn't the empty place it is today. Mammoths, woolly rhinoceros, and antelopes roamed, along with cave lions like this, a slightly bigger relative of the African lions that live today. Alien Egg It's said there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on our entire planet. Many believe it's nearly impossible that we're alone, but are aliens among us? A video shot on the surface of Utah Lake has some saying it shows extraterrestrials are already here. This video has puzzled minds across the globe. It shows small spongy objects laid out in a circular pattern, which seems to have melted straight through the solid ice. A voice in the video says they may be alien eggs, an idea that spawns speculation across the internet. Utah Lake covers more than a quarter of the Utah Valley, and it's been there far longer than we have. The waters rested there for tens of thousands of years. It's an ancient lake where the unknown could lurk just below the surface, but the reality is far less far out, so to speak. It's icy installation art. The secret behind these alien eggs is a local art teacher, and the eggs in the video were the result of an assignment she made in one of their classes. The assignment was to create a public art installation, which a student made on the frozen surface. The truth is sure to disappoint some of the online spectators, but the art paid off for the artist. It certainly created a buzz. Frozen Puppy This is the last thing you ever want to discover, frozen in ice, a dog, much less some newborn pups. But the sad reality is that when winter comes, many dogs get caught out in the cold. Some are even left out to die. At any given time, there are approximately 70 million stray dogs and cats in the United States, and for many, 
The food and shelter they obtain throughout the winter will determine whether they live or die. When you see a homeless animal in the cold, the first thing you should do is contact your local animal rescue organizations. You might consider bringing a stray animal into your home if you're able to make the long-term commitment of caring for them and if you feel safe in doing so, and if the animal feels safe coming to you. If you're unable to bring the animal into your home, you may be able to assist them in surviving the winter by giving shelter, like a solid cardboard box lined with straw. The shelter will be able to better trap and retain the dog's body heat as a result. Providing stray animals with fresh, clean food and water can help them withstand the cold by reducing the amount of energy they must use to find food. A well-fed animal is also better equipped to battle infection and disease. Like it or not, ice can be as cruel as it is fascinating. In the same way that ice can create unique natural phenomena, it can also preserve our past for the future to discover. Cool, right?